I love parties. I love going and hanging out with friends. I love having friends over. I also love family get-togethers. They are a great way to have a nice way of enjoying food that is homemade. That is going to make your taste buds go crazy, wild, and just enjoy with such amount of flavor. Hi, I'm Jay Simkovitz and welcome back to Cooking with Jay Simkovitz. Yes, I'm wearing my famous The Last Perfect Man shirt, that is Homer Simpson, but that is not what I'm talking about today. Today, I am making homemade guacamole, but before I actually make that guacamole, okay, that I'm going to be showing you, I have to do a shout out. Shout out to Cameron, because he's the one who suggested this video, so go check out his YouTube channel. I will put it in the description below for you to go and check it out, okay? So shout out to you, Cameron, for suggesting this. And you know what? Also, he is a role model because I've been asking people to comment, which he's done. I've asked people to subscribe, which he's done. Okay, those are two things. He's also just suggested an idea. That is three things. And he's probably shared my video. So that's the four things I've been asking. So he's a perfect role model. So you know what I've been asking you to do. So let's get into this video of making guacamole. So... You're probably wondering what you need to make this guacamole. Well, of course, you're going to need avanada. You're going to need an avocado. I am sorry, I can't talk today. One fully ripe avocado ready to be scooped out. Okay, so we'll put it over there. You're going to need two, I repeat, two Roma tomatoes diced. Okay, I just cut them up right now because it's simpler to do that. You're going to need two. Two cloves of garlic, two of them. You're going to need half an onion, half an onion. It's very important to have half an onion finely chopped. It's not fully finely chopped, but it's good enough because you'll see why. Then you're going to need one full lime juice from the lime. That is what you need to make this guacamole. Of course, knowing me, I forget two ingredients. They're like, you really don't need to add them, but they add to the flavor. You need black pepper and salt for to taste. It means that to your taste bud likings. And the most important thing you're going to need is a food processor. This little food processor by Cuisinart. It's a food prep plus. It's great for making guacamole. So let's get on with this video. <laughs> First thing you're going to do is cut your avocado open. I'm using a paring knife. It's very sharp. Be careful, please. I don't want you to cut yourself. But remember, there is a pit in here. Some people totally forget about it and don't remember, but I certainly do remember. And there it is. You cut it out. You remove the pit. If you can remove it, just got to remove it slowly and carefully going around it. And it should pop out just like that. There you go. Now what you're going to do is remove the skin of your avocado. So with the paring knife, you're going to go around it. And it should just pop out nicely. Okay, as you can tell, it is popping out. Oh, there it goes. It fell right out. You don't want it to fall right out just yet, but you can leave it in there. Now you do it with the next one, the second half. The second half of one of the avocado. Hole. You want to make sure you don't get the skin. But it will just pop right out. Just like so. Okay, it's coming right out, as you can see. We don't want it to fall right out just yet. 
So we're going to take our knife and we're going to put it to the side because we don't need it right now. But we're going to get our food processor and we're going to add the avocado in there. Boom. And boop, boom. Don't need those. Now we are going to add the top back on because it is important to add the top because the machine won't work without it. And now you're going to grind it up. Now here's the thing. When grinding it up, you have two options. You can get a bowl and a fork or a spoon and mash it all up in there. That's what you can do. But I choose to use the food processor because I like it. It gets everything that needs to be done all in one. It is so simple that you don't have to worry about anything really. So now that you have it all, well, grinded up, let's put it that way. Okay, well, it's not fully grinded up, but you know, it, it's more grinded up than not. Okay, now you want to get this back on. And now you're going to add your lime juice. And you're going to add your garlic. You want to get all that garlic in there. And now you have to scrape the side. I'm using my paring knife that I used because it's great. It gets every single side of it and more. Okay, and we're going to add the top back on because it's important to add the top because it doesn't work without the top and you're going to grind it up again. Just slowly, few, few little pumps of it. You don't want to grind it up so much that it looks like it's water. You want it to be more of a, well, paste as I would say, where it's still not so firm but more just, well, you'll see at the end. Okay, so now we're going to scrape the sides again. That smells amazing. Let's put it that way. Now you want to add in your onion. Now, the difference between a food processor and doing it with a bowl and a spoon or a fork is that you're going to have more onion in it. You're going to have more tomatoes. You're going to have more of the garlic pieces in there. Okay, For people who don't really like garlic, onion, tomato, or even avocados, this is a great way of going. So now you add the top back on. Get that back in. I'm gonna add the top back on if it will go back on. And now you're going to grind it again. Just a little bit. And you scrape the sides to get everything from it. Now it's time to add the tomatoes, but let me show you this for a sec. You can see, you can see this, the onions haven't been fully grinded up in there, which is great because you really don't want them. I mean, you can, if people don't really like it, you can get it to the point that they don't see it, but I love onion. I love garlic. I love my tomatoes. I'm not a huge fan of avocados, but you know what? Maybe this guacamole will be the best thing that happened to me. Now we're going to add the tomatoes. Sometimes you get tomato juice in there, which is totally fine. Now we add our cap back on. And we're going to pump it a few times just to mix it all up.
and there we go. Now we remove this, and as you can see, we got nice guacamole so far. It's all been mixed up, but we're not done yet. We are not done yet because we need to add the most two important ingredients. That's right, two. Two important ingredients. You need some salt. So I'm just going to add a little bit of salt in there. And a little bit of black pepper for taste. Do, 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 do. Bidi, 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 bidi. There we go. And now we shall mix it up a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit. And there we go. We have our amazing guacamole all right there mixed up. Now we are going to add it into a bowl because that's the most important thing. Put that over there and we're going to dump it into our lovely bowl here. There you go. You have freshly made guacamole. Took less than five minutes to literally make it. Okay? And to prove it's going to taste amazing, I'm going to try a spoonful, a little teaspoon of it. Okay? Well, to good health and down the hatch. To be very honest, without trying it, it's not bad, but you need a little more salt and a little more black pepper. So we are going to mix this up one more time. And we are going to try it again. Nice teaspoon full of it. And down the hatch. Mm. Mm. That is amazing. You can taste the avocado, the garlic, the onion, the lime juice, and the tomato. That is amazing. Most times, you can't taste the garlic in there. You can't taste the onion. But this is amazing. Man, I wish I had some tortilla chips to go with this. That would have been perfect. Perfect recipe, perfect thing for a party, uh, like for a football game, a sporting event, or even at home with friends watching some movie or TV show or something, or just out with your family at a park or just in the backyard enjoying a nice barbecue. This is a perfect way to go with that. So I really hope you enjoyed watching me make guacamole that you can make also that is very simple very easy not very hard to do i mean literally it is straightforward as i told you with all the ingredients it is just plain and simple if you enjoyed this please hit that thumbs up button also subscribe below click that little red subscribe button also share this with your friends family and all your social medias and remember you guys are awesome you guys are amazing you're one of a kind you're beautiful and thank you for being part of cooking squad and remember the most important thing is keep calm and cook on